This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2021. Trochanteric femoral fractures are often treated by inserting an intramedullary nail into the medullary cavity. However, there is no clear guideline on the preferable length of the intramedullary nail. To address this issue, researchers from Denmark recently conducted a multicenter cohort study with data from the Danish Multidisciplinary Hip Fracture Registry, or DMHFR, and healthcare records. They identified patients who had been greater than or equal to 65 years old between 2008 and 2013 and had undergone a major reoperation following the treatment of a pertrochanteric or subtrochanteric fracture with use of an intramedullary nail. The researchers then compared the rates of reoperation within two years of follow up against the type of intramedullary nail used. Of the 2,245 pertrochanteric fractures that were identified, 1,867 had been treated with a short intramedullary nail, and 378 had been treated with a long intramedullary nail. Of the 909 subtrochanteric fractures, 308 had been treated with a short intramedullary nail, and 601 had been treated with a long intramedullary nail. For the short intramedullary nail group, the rates of reoperations were 4.0% and 8.4% for pertrochanteric and subtrochanteric fractures, respectively. For the long intramedullary nail group, the corresponding rates were 6.3% and 4.0%. These findings suggest that for subtrochanteric fractures, a long intramedullary nail has a lower rate of major reoperations compared with a short intramedullary nail. In contrast, for pertrochanteric fractures, a short intramedullary nail has a lower rate of major reoperations compared with a long intramedullary nail. However, the absolute risk reduction is lower for pertrochanteric fractures.